Part 207, Revala. Let's go ahead and do a little walk around here at the R207 by Revala. We have a hall structure here that's very similar to our center councils, but this is a dual council boat, giving you a full windshield to give you a lot of protection when the elements are bad out there and you just need to get wind off your face. Here we have a hydrolift hull design. The hydrolift hull gives you a lot of uh, a fuel efficiency, speed over the water. This hull also has Kevlar reinforcement. Throughout the structure, you have quad directional stitch fiberglass, vinyl luster resin, which stops blistering and bubbling. And again, a lifetime warranty on the structure of this boat. Pop out cleats. All stainless steel, and I love the fact that Ravala always has a spring line cleat, never even a question. Extended plane V is almost like big trim tabs. This boat gets up on plane very quickly with very, virtually no bow rise. The, the other thing that this allows us to do as fishermen when we want to get into shallow waters, this boat extends back further, of course, creating more buoyancy. So your draft is much less with a Ravala deep V haul. So not only you get a smooth ride in this boat, but you can also get into shallow water conditions, and we like that. Any type of cables go into the motor, and all the hydraulic steering is hitched up just precisely with virtually no access uh, inside the, the spill well of the boat. You see, Robalo, you can actually walk around on this boat. You're getting in and out of the boat, on and off the dock. You have a non-skid, diamond skid, uh, excuse me, that is diamond non-skid surface around the entire edge of the boat. The gunnel of the boat is very easy to access. Walking in and out of the boat from the dock is very easy to do. Ravalo has a really nice bow rider area up here. You remove all the cushions. You got a huge fish box, so when you do land some big ones, you can throw them on ice and keep them in your fish, fish well here up the front. And no matter what, you don't have to worry about guts, blood, or any other fish items going into the boat or into the hull to make it stink. Everything in a Ravalo will go ahead and drain overboard. There's never any drainage inside the boat. The whole cockpit of the boat has a, what's called the cockpit drain management system with huge scuppers. And the scuppers, again, are located above the water line in a Robalo, and it allows water to flow outside the boat, not in and down into the hull, so you don't have to worry about pumping water out. A Robalo is a full self-draining self cockpit, and uh, that's a really effective thing and nice, so you don't have to do a lot of cleanup. Back up here at the bow of the boat, got a nice huge wind blocker door. For early mornings or late evenings when you're out and fishing's good, you don't want to come back in, it's cold out. But you're going to cruise along and this wind is going to be stopped here, virtually kicked up over you, so you're going to be high and dry. Revalo has an optional uh, sport top with isinglass that connects to the front of the windshield also to keep you out of the elements if you are out on a nice wintry day or let's just say rainy day. Huge storage compartments underneath the helm on the driver's side of the boat. I can tell you what, you can probably put three or four tackle boxes in there. Over here, if you're out five, 10 miles, and you don't want to come back in, you need to go to the bathroom, even a pretty big guy like myself can get in here. Read a magazine if you need to. So you can see Robalo's porta potty and um, privacy area is nice and large. Up here in the dashboard and control station, you have all nice rocker switches, very easy to use. They illuminate when you are, uh, actually when that switch is live, it illuminates. You have a nice stainless steel steering wheel with control knob, allowing you to get around the dock real easy, or if you're backing down on a fish. I like to tarp and fish down in Boca Grand Pass, and this is a great boat to do it in, because it'll handle whatever water conditions you want to put it in. Two and a half foot waves, four and a half foot waves, and it'll give you a smooth ride. Um, we have a beach weave snap-in carpeting. It's actually not really a carpet. It's a beach weave snap-in, basically a liner. 
and it just allows it to be comfortable on your feet. But if you want, you can snap all this out when you're fishing and it's a diamond non-skid surface and that makes everything flow out very easily. But if you and uh, the wife and the kids are going out for a nice day of just family fun, you have the ability to have them ride up in the bow, very cushioned and having fun. And then you have a full back bench seat here that allows everybody to enjoy each other's company. If you're out fishing, this converts very quickly. The seats actually go down and your back bench seat removes. You can leave that on the dock or put it down in your uh, bathroom compartment, your head compartment. You can see you have a nice big live bait tank with LED light, rounded edges so the bait aren't gonna bump their heads, but it is an oscillating live bait tank. Now that's for when you're fishing, but back to the family fun, switching it back up, saying, hey, let's go wakeboarding or water skiing. You're able to connect to that nice big Excuse me, made that look a little harder than it is. You're able to hitch up to that nice big back ski tow bar that is powder coated. This is an option for Robalo uh, and be able to pull wakeboarders and skiers. That's a little of the overview of the 2018 R207 Robalo that's available here at Boatmasters Marine. Please come and visit us and we will give you a full presentation and overview of the boat. Thank you.